Gold was discovered at Waiuta near Reefton in 1905 and within a few years a small town had popped up. Now unlike other West Coast mining towns, Waiuta persevered and continued to function until 1951 when one of the two mine shafts collapsed. I'm here to meet the man who first found gold here. I'm rich at last, I found the gold! Gold! I'm rich at last, gold! Hey, what are you doing here? I see, you've got some of those horseless carriages. There's no horseless carriages when I first came up here. And we came up here prospecting. And you know what we found? Nothing. A whole month. And then one day, I'll show you exactly what happened. We got our crib bags out, sat down, and we're having our crib. It was about this time of day. It was about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, actually. Well, it was a late lunch. And I happened to put my pick down, and I heard it. I scraped away the moss, and there it was, gold. Oh, we thought, this must be a special day. It was a special day. The 9th of November, 1905, the King's birthday. You remember, King Edward VII. Well, we happy. We shot down to Blackwater because there's a, a hotel down there to do a bit of celebrating. And word quickly got up to Reefton and, and P in Kingswell he came and I, he gave us 500 quid each for the claim up here. You know what? Nearly three quarters of a million ounces of gold came out of the ground just because of me, Jimmy Martin. And here we were, the four of us, Billy Meats, Davy Ross, Ernie Bannon and me. I got 500 pound. Mr P in Kingswell, he came up here uh, and he put this prospecting drive in, he took a two-year option on the lease of the ground and he sold it after six months for £30,000. So poor old Jimmy only got £500 <laughs> and, he got, and he went away to Auckland to become a Jaffa, just another friendly Aucklander. <laughs> after what had been going 25 years, the township decided it was a cause for celebration. They bought cement and on the weekend, on the Sundays when men weren't working in the mine, they dug out the side of the hillside here and made the swimming pool. Olympic size, 33 and a third yards long. In those days, the 1930s, this was the best swimming pool on the west coast, in this little small isolated town up here at Waiuta. How did Jimmy Martin come about? He was an Australian prospector. I did a bit of research on him and um, and did them for a conservation week one time, and I've done them ever since. That was uh, when first year Doc started. So you've been coming up here as Jimmy Martin for 20 years? Yep, yes, I have. And my wife's grandfather was in that prospecting party, and her grandmother used to look after Jimmy Martin down at Blackwater. So you've got the real personal connection. <laughs> I do have a little connection there. And he lived at Blackwater, and he lived in an old hut down there. There's a photo of him in the Blackwater school. Although now abandoned, the township of Waiuta still has plenty of life left in it through the storytelling of Jimmy Martin for local school kids and tourists.